All right, how's it going everyone? Update 27.0 just dropped, and it didn't take long since the last tease dropped for this one to come. But that's good news because that means the wait is finally over. So let's see what is in this update, aside from what they teased. So as you know, if you saw the teaser video that I did, um, we got Blue and Arius in the game. We got 555 Dart Monkey Paragons and Boomerang Paragons. And alongside that, we got Brave the Swampy New Intermediate Map, Balloon Arius Prime, new Trophy Store items, Co-op Rejoining, always good to see Co-op getting some love, new achievements and rewards, and of course, as usual, lots of balance changes. So first off, we're gonna go on over to the Trophy Store section because they definitely have some new ones every update. So let's see, first off, the flags. And uh, there's still no Canada. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to give this update another 0 out of 10. I'm sorry, the last update that excluded the Canada flag was excusable because, obviously, the Banana Republic is the greatest country of all time, but come on. Unfortunate. Guess I'll depressingly buy out the rest of the trophy store then. So, Water Bloom Pop FX. I actually see some of these, uh, whoa, there's banners now. Banners. So what's this? Wear this BFB led Bloomstorm as a custom profile banner. Trophy of your victories. Holy crap, 250 trophies. I'm actually not sure I can buy out the entire store. Let me buy all the cheap ones first. Co-op messages, uh, avatars, uh, not gonna use any of these, because I do like that Ice Monkey one. Okay, so we got five banners this update. I think I can buy, a, buy, yeah, I can buy them all, but I'll be really low on trophies. It's actually very hard to buy out the entire trophy store, because, well, you have to do every Odyssey every week, every race, race every week, and also place very well. Now I'm down to the lowest amount of trophies I've ever had in my life. 423. So let's go on over to the profile section to see uh, these banners. Pretty slick looking. Love to see it. So let's see which one I want to uh, choose for my banner. Go back to the Ice Monkey. Hmm. Honestly, I do kind of like the the, re the reactive looking one. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it. Looks pretty slick. Anyways, okay, now I'm going to take a look at the uh, the Paragons. I think I can go over to here to take a sneak peek. So click Dark Monkey here. And look what we have here. The Apex Plasma Master. Description, fill the area with balloon shredding plasma juggernaut balls, leaving nothing behind. And look at the XP cost to unlock, 500k. I wonder if I can get that in one game. Most importantly, look at the in-game cost, $350,000. Right now, I think I'm going to try to unlock that. Let me just take a quick sneak peek at the boomerang. Glaive Dominus. We'll save that for another time. I think I want to put all my focus into unlocking this guy first. Now before that, I'm going to take a look at the Balloon Aries real quick. I might save this. Well, because this is a big update, I'm probably going to save a lot of these uh, for the future. Not right now. But let's take a look at this uh, boss screen. So it's a uh, basically a custom-ish game mode. Greetings, Brave Adventurer. You have entered the realm of bosses. Good luck. And remember these rules. Boss begins as soon as you hit play, and there's no pause between the rounds. Uh, Pop all five tiers of boss to win each boss mode, etc, etc, etc. And there's, two, there's also two modes, uh, normal mode and elite mode. According to NK's patch notes that they put it on Reddit, apparently this is really hard, so I'm excited to see how hard of a challenge it's actually going to be. So if you take a look here, I believe they start spawning on round 40, and every 20 rounds, uh, each boss comes out. Each tier of each boss comes out, up to round 120, the tier 5 boss. So the, those, these are the rewards once you, well, if you're able to beat all, all five tiers. Stay tuned. For now, let's check out the new map and try to unlock Dark Paragons as soon as possible. I'm going to use Ben for the money as well. So Balloon Aries Prime, we'll use Standard Hard Mode, let's go. So let's see how this map goes. Um, it is intermediate, so I'm just going to play. Looks like there's two exits. Wait, hold on, hold on. Um... Oh, there's, there's something new. A new mechanic, I think. So, uh, there's this little portal where, or this little puddle where the balloons spawn. So, they start on the top left, and they reappear over here, it seems. Interesting. I'm just gonna see what happens after this round. Does it alternate lanes or something? Or is it always the same? Oh, it's different. Okay, so the puddle goes away after each round. And what does it do now? Does it exit, like, here? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna drop Dark Monkey in case. Yeah, it does. Okay. Interesting. I gotta love NK and their, well, new mechanics for, uh, you know, maps. 
Is there anything else I'm missing? Or is it is that is that basically it? It alternates every round. Let's see. Are there any removals on this map? Any secrets aside from that? Don't think so. So first off, I'm just gonna rush Ben, because again. 350k for those paragons. So right now I think my dart placements are really bad. Because each of them only get, well, one round at a time. I think here is probably uh, here is probably a good spot that gets both rounds. Oh, sorry, hold on. I can just unlock it right now, can I? Yes, because I have 19 million XP, don't I? Alright, for some reason I thought it was 500k XP, uh, like, from this update. It, doesn't, it didn't count, like, it didn't count before updates, but it does. So why don't I just click it? And there we go. That's how it looks like. Oh, you probably already knew if you saw the teasers. So that said, I don't need to focus on only darts then. Only focus on the greed. Now to unlock it, I haven't gotten there yet, but I assume I just need to get all tier 5 Dharma keys up. And then once I get all of them up, there's probably a button somewhere that allows me to merge all of them. But we'll see. It'll take some time to get there first. I'm probably going to get by Intel. Oh, luckily that barely reaches. There's giant trees in the way. So yeah, allow me to use this time to look over uh, other things in this update, this really big update that was not announced in the teaser, so I think I can, you can see it if I just press the pause button in this game. Pause. Take a look at this. There's a Twitch button. Apparently there's a, a thing called Twitch polls now, in-game. If I read, Twitch streamers and viewers take note, we now allow automated polling directly from the game to Twitch chat viewers to vote on tower restrictions so that allows you know streamers to uh, basically do some twitch plays have chat be able to uh, interact with your your game that's a good thing because now uh, we don't have to rely on well mods for twitch integrated stuff now and on the patch notes they also say they have more twitch features planned for the future always cool to see so yeah twitch polls is definitely something i'm i'm going to be checking out in the future alongside well, with this update, in case you don't know, most of the content that you do see uh, in my videos is streamed. The rare occasion where it's not streamed is if I'm, uh, like, recording an update, like, right now. I don't know how much I make it obvious in those videos, but I'm always surprised that a, a, a few people, like, don't realize at all that I do stream on Twitch. Not on YouTube. In case you don't know, I did use to stream on YouTube, well... Restream both on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, but I decided nah, it's probably best to just uh, Split the two just keep the YouTube for the videos and have Twitch for the streams instead I'll have a link to the stream in the description in case you do want to uh, give it a follow when I do eventually inevitably check it out ETD ISAP is the handle as is the handle for most of my socials You know, I think it's probably a good idea to go for some global towers because again, the line of sight, this giant tree in the way, really doesn't do many favors for the sub. So I think I want to get a Spectre just to deal with the mid-game. I know, not even doing, you know, the tier 5 Dharma key, which would help towards affording uh, what I want. But I just want something that will guarantee that I won't die to anything stupid. Because right now, if I get, like, this guy to cross the Master, doesn't really have that much good coverage. So uh, I would rather not. Marketplace spam, ladies and gents. The best farm spam of all time. For those curious why I do Marketplace, it's just because I'm lazy. I know, obviously, banks will get you faster, especially with Benjamin. You do have the bank hack that gives banks extra income. But I'm kind of lazy to check every round. I'm just kind of trying to speed run and not by round. Trying to forward the 5 of 5 Paragon for Dart. Rather, I'm looking at time. Time spent. So right now, I'm probably just going to upgrade every Marketplace to a central market. And see where to go from there. Honestly, this is also a really bad map to showcase the uh, Dark Paragon. I'm not sure what I can do about that. Hopefully, it, it somehow has infinite range. Or maybe the ability to see uh, see over trees. Because, like, if we're talking about uh, where do I want to place it, I have no clue. Speaking of which, where would the uh, Paragon be placed? Like, would it be in one of the, one of the three positions that uh, your Dark Magis is in? Or you can choose. Can you choose the position? Questions that we've probably been speculating. People have been speculating. Well, since this was teased. But don't worry, we'll find out fairly soon, I think. Alright, so I'm gonna siphon for round 80 just to speed the process. Get Wall Street and GG. 
Take a look at that, guys. Basically, Spectre soloed up to round 80. Spectre is king. Now, I finished all the farming, so I'm gonna start getting the tier 5 Dark Monkeys. First off, start with the Crossbow Master. Let's see if there's anything new that shows up when I buy this. Nope. Looks pretty fairly standard. Gonna sell some of these. Uh, I'm just gonna put my Dark Monkeys because, again, I don't know whether or not I can place it anywhere or it's just one of three original placements. I'm just gonna put them in three spots that I think look good. So, Ultra Juggernaut here. And where would I want the third one to be? Maybe at the very front of the track? Nah, that's probably not. Not a good idea. I'll do it here, right beside it. Just to the left. This one will be Class Fan Club. Come in in about one or two rounds. Alright, in Fan Club, let's see what changes. Ah, there we go. Paragon upgrade enabled. Upgrade one of your T5 Drop Monkeys into a Paragon. Paragons absorb all monkeys of their type, including the tier 5 monkeys from the other two pads. The degree the Paragon is influenced by how much power is absorbed at the moment of upgrade. Hold on. Absorb all monkeys of their type. Okay, so that means, uh, what do you call it? By power, I assume they mean like money spent into it. So hold on, does that mean it's better to have my, uh, my, my tier 5's group so that they count towards the uh, what do you call it? Like, the money put into it to make it stronger? So, let me get this right. Uh, it doesn't matter which one I upgrade. They're all gonna be the same thing. Correct? That's it. Th I think I'm just going to Chinook all of them in one place. Just in case uh, that is needed. So, it's basically like the temple. But, for each, each tower. Very, very interesting. So, let me just start by moving this guy down here. By the way, I don't know if I should be calling these 555 Towers or just Paragon Towers. It feels weird calling it Paragon. Especially when, um, a Paragon already exists in this game. In the Engineer. And I don't want to confuse people too much. Well, I guess we can't really, uh, put much money into, what do you call it, Dark Monkeys anyways. Because, well, uh, the most expensive tier 4 Dark Monkey is, uh, Super Monkey Fan Club. So it's limited by however many, uh, SMFCs I can place within this radius, and I should probably sell some farms if I want to increase the, uh, well, amount of Dark Monkeys I can put in, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Let's just do some math real quick. If it actually does get affected by the, uh, whatchamacallit, the other tier 5's, uh, costs, I, I feel like it would be better to upgrade the cheapest one, but I'm just going to go with the crossbow until I, uh, well, until we can confirm uh, how this shit works. Almost died. Should buy some camo, eh? Okay, actually, this just in. I don't have anything for a D. He's a 93. Aside from the plasma ability. I think I'm just gonna go for it. We have a lot of money. I think you guys are dying to see it by now. So, after 91, I'm just going to unload. In fact, I'm just gonna start selling. And 92, let's go. It shows blue, because we can buy it. 3, 2, 1. Let's do it. Actually, hold on. I, I realize I have excess cash. I'll just buy some more fan clubs. Couple more. Just to increase the power. Alright, that's good enough. We're probably gonna die soon. So, upgrade a Paragon. Let's go. Let's go. Let's sell the Chinook 2, see what it does. We gained 15 of something. Oh, what is this? Paragon Degree. Oh, that's basically the power. How strong the Paragon is. Is it basically a 555 tower? For what I see, yes. It shoots out some... Uh, insanely far-reaching, uh, purple crossbows. And then they unleash little balls at the end. Is there an ability? What's the, uh, Plants of Fan Club element of it? Well, I guess it's the purple, right? Like, all the projectiles are turned to plasma, but you lose the ability, which... It's kinda sad. Kinda sad. It does not gain, uh, extra lines of action, but... But, I think it should still be fine. So yeah, I wonder what the max Paragon degree is, cause... I uh, have I wasn't able to put too many too many dark monkeys in range of that. If I had to wager like probably 60k worth of dark monkeys aside from the tier fives outside of it, so I should probably sell these two just so we can just go full solo with this guy. 95 easy. Let's see if we can beat round 100 solo. No jungle drums or anything. I'm gonna buy that uh, once I see it's starting to struggle. But for now we're chilling. So let me see. Can I buy back tier fives? Probably not. It will say... Uh, no, I can! Huh. So it's not like, uh, whatchamacallit, the Vengeful Temple. Take a look at this, Fortified Zoom Gs. Alright. 
Again, I had a feeling Otter Browns are going to be a bit of a struggle because of how horrible of a range this is, but the Juggernaut Balls really do help out. Oh, sorry, sorry. So the crossbows, quote-unquote crossbows, it's basically just three three giant Juggernaut Balls, and then they split just like the Ultra Jug. I see what's going on now. I wonder what happens if I get all three T5 Jump Reason again. Probably nothing. Now, time to see how much bad damage it does. I'm going to slow it down real quick so you can look at the damage increment. Alright. Looks like a couple of hundred every giant juggernaut shot. But overall, single target damage, very good. GG's. I mean, I mean, I would be surprised if a 350k tower... Well, actually more than that because you absorb the rest. Like, I'd be surprised if it didn't. Um, solo 100 rounds. So yeah, I'm not sure how much further I'm going to go here. Probably, well, until this dies. I'll probably sell the crossbow. Anyways, one more thing to note in this uh, update. There was one more balance change, or uh, change to free play. Tweaks have been made to free play rounds 101 to 119 in order to balance out the length and difficulty. Well, it's going to be impossible to see here. You're not going to see a difference because this guy is likely going to be able to shred. Shred all the way. Take a look. Bunch of fortified ZMDs 107. Not even close. So I feel like the sad thing about Paragons is that, well, they're they're only for uber late game, which is something you're not going to get in something like Chimps mode. Like, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to save up 350k in Chimps, right? Because like, you can't gain income, you can't sell towers, so you're basically stuck. Would really be surprised if someone was able to pull off, pull off, because first off, you have to spend a bunch of money on tier 5 drop monkeys, which aren't good in free play um, themselves. So that's the only bummer about it, but I mean, I guess in the end of the day, Chimps is just a tiny, a tiny subset of what this whole game has to offer. All right, 116 is good. Here's 117. Uh, hold on now. I'm just kind of realizing now that uh, they're not using the right side of the track. So what's going on? I don't remember when the last time balloons were on the right side of the track. I think it was 107, right? Every other round since then has not used the puddle. So it doesn't like disappear or appear less often later on in the game. If that's the case, I might have to relocate. Uh, I wonder if I can even jump this thing. First off, so let's see. Can it beat round 119 bad? So this is going to be tough. Oh, hold on. Did they change this? Oh, they changed this round. Did they actually make it even harder? Three bads? End case, like, crazy with this. Oh, DTs. Almost died. Might die here? Nope. I feel like the last pad is going to be very interesting. I can very much see, much see a death there, but we're fine. Also, is it making money? I see a plus 24 somewhere. Or is that... That's 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 Ben's Trojan, probably. Yeah, I'm going to assume it's Trojan. So, Chinook. I cannot Chinook it, sadly. Dang it. Because, like, if I know... Or if I'm seeing that no balloons are spawning um, on the right side, I would put this in a better spot. But I guess this isn't this isn't bad either. Like here, it just shoots mostly down the lane. So 124. Yep, still uh, still on the left side. Oh, 127. Slow down. Hmm. So I see a pattern. 127, 107. Every 20 rounds, it it does this now. Weird. First off, why 127? And second off, we almost died. I think we we're we're dead. Yes. No. Yes. No. Scary close round. I think we're getting a, a good pattern now with the Juggernaut Balls that we are defending. Holy, holy crap. We would have lost if we didn't have those lives in the marketplace. So yeah, unfortunately, I think it's time has come. DTs. The next round has fortified DTs, and a lot of them is probably our death. Now, I could extend this further by giving it all the buffs in the world, but I'm going to hold off on that. I think we've seen enough of it by now to know how good it is. But hey, maybe in the future, when I have time to go to, uh, round 300. Almost died that round, too. I think we lost 60 lives. So any time, any time now, guys. Fortify DTs? Okay, this is the one that kills me. Ah. Uh, round 130 with a 600 uh, Dark Monkey. So there it is, guys. NK confirmed. It's not 555. There are 6000 towers. Interesting. So overall, 11.8 million pops. Dark Paragon, what do you think? Did it look cool? Do you think it was good for its price? Personally, I can't come to a conclusion yet. It's only been one game. 
and probably not the perfect map for it. But again, I may do, I may fiddle with it more, so stay tuned. I will have more update stuff coming in the future. So of course, just make sure to subscribe, turn on those notifs to get caught up on those update videos. And friendly reminder that I will be streaming the update as well, twitch.tv slash btisab. I'll see you there. And if not, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.